Sit is the most basic dog command there is and it's probably one of the first things your Jack Russell will learn besides its name. It's one of the most useful commands and it's also extremely easy to teach, making it an essential part of Jack Russell training. It comes in handy for preventing a lot of problem behaviors common to Jack Russells, like jumping up at visitors and suddenly bolting for no apparent reason. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. Jack Russell Terriers are intelligent dogs that are more than capable of learning a sit and stay. Of course, their intelligence also means you may have to negotiate with them to get them do what you want done versus just doing what they feel like. When it comes to a sit and stay, it's worth the effort as it can save your dog's life for example preventing him from bolting out the front door. It also helps teach self-control, which can then make behaviors like, leave it, easier to teach. The following is a great way to teach stay that makes it easier on your Jack Russell and results in a solid behavior. Duration and distance. To make stay training easier for your Jack Russell Terrier you are going to break it up into the following three parts duration, distance, and distractions. First, you are going to work on just duration and then just distance. Finally, you will add distractions once a solid stay has been taught. At this point, do not use the cue stay. You don't want to use your cue until your Jack Russell knows what you want. Start by building up duration how long your Jack Russell Terrier can sit in one position. Do this in small increments by asking your dog to sit, counting to one second, and then rewarding. Then count to two seconds and reward. At this point, release your dog by saying your release cue common ones are OK, free, break, release, but you can use anything and tossing a treat for your dog to get. Then you can start over, gradually building up duration. Ideally, your Jack Russell Terrier will never break his stay using this method. If he does, just put him back in a sit, count a second or two depending on where you are in your training and then reward. In the beginning, do short training sessions in a quiet room with little to no distractions. Next is distance. Do the same thing with distance by taking steps away from your Jack Russell instead of counting and returning to reward. Again, no cue for stay. Don't forget to use your release cue every time you end the stay. Adding the cue. Once you can count to around 10 to 15 seconds and take at least 5 steps away from your Jack Russell without him getting up, you can start adding the cue. To do this, say stay, or whatever cue you wish, while your dog is in the middle of an exercise, then return and reward. Don't forget to use your release cue every time you end the stay. Distractions. Once the cue has been added, it's time to start adding in distractions that your Jack Russell Terrier will have to ignore while continuing to stay. The younger your Jack Russell is, the more slowly you will probably have to add distractions. What is a hard distraction for one dog may be easy for another, so think about what gets your dog excited. Anything that excites your Jack Russell will make him want to break his stay. Start with something he doesn't find that interesting. Maybe another family member walking by, the TV on, or a toy, not being thrown, just holding it. Basically, anything that is a bit of a distraction, but not your dog's favorite thing, as that will be too hard. If your dog breaks his stay three times in a row when you add a new distraction, he is not ready for that one. Remove it and try something that's in between his last successful distraction and the one he failed. So, for example let's say your Jack Russell was fine with you holding a ball but when you threw it, he failed. Next time you might try dropping or placing it on the ground, rolling it slowly, or tossing it gently so it goes a foot or two. The goal is to make your Jack Russell Terrier successful every time. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.